Today we're diving into one of the most common questions in fitness. How long does it take to get ripped abs? Before we get into that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever started a fat loss diet and given up a few weeks into it because you're not seeing ab definition? Well, I can promise you you're not alone. I've worked with hundreds of guys just like you. And today I'm gonna break down exactly what happens when you're trying to get ripped abs and how long you should expect it to take to finally see that ab definition that you so desperately want. But first things first, you know, we just have to get some of the ground floor stuff out of the way. You're not gonna get ripped abs super, super fast. So let's just cover some of the ground floor stuff first. You're not going to get ripped overnight. I know that's not groundbreaking, right? But here's the thing. Having clarity around the right timeline can be the difference between you actually getting ripped and giving up on your goals. So today I wanna to break it down so you have a clear understanding of what actually you should expect when it comes to timeline and what you can do if there is anything to actually speed it up. So let's start by breaking down a few key factors. One of the first things we take a look at whenever a client joins my program or takes one of my challenges, which you can learn all about in the description below, is we actually wanna get crystal clear on their starting point. Now, there's a couple things that we wanna take a look at. The number one thing I try to do for clients is give them an accurate picture of where they stand body fat percentage wise. To see visible abs, most guys need to be under 14% body fat, sometimes a little bit lower than that. And sometimes this will come down to genetics, which we'll talk about soon. But for the most part, 12 to 14% body fat is where we can start to see abs show through. So if you're starting around 25% body fat, then we know it's gonna take a little bit longer. So then the next question is, what is your starting point? Now, I don't necessarily have our clients get an accurate body fat reading when they start. We give them the option to do that, but the second best thing is to just take a look at pictures. And we can actually, because of the internet, get a clear, at least, idea of where they stand and we can give an accurate estimate of where their current body fat is just by looking at their current physique. And then knowing where they stand, if we're at least close to accurate, then we can start to paint a picture of how many weeks it's gonna take. So in most cases, if a guy is super, super consistent, we find that they lose about a percent, 1% that is, of body fat per week if they're doing all the right things that we map out in our program. So if you're starting around 25% body fat, for example, and you wanna get down to 12%, well, you're looking at about 13 consistent weeks of doing all the right things. Now, before you click away and think, all right, I got my answer, Let's be clear that there's other factors that are going to influence how fast you actually get ripped abs. This is just the first thing that we educate our clients on inside of our program, but it's exactly why we also educate them on the number two factor, which is genetics. Some people are just genetically gifted. They may not even know it, right? Maybe they've gone their whole lives without working out consistently, following a relatively healthy nutrition plan, and just not being that active. You know, maybe they're super sedentary. So once they start an actual healthy routine, something that is sustainable, well then all of a sudden their body starts to respond really quick. We call these people hyper responders. Some people just respond fast to being in a calorie deficit, training consistently, and just moving more. Some people, like myself, are a little bit slower. Now I can tell you from my experience, I'm more of what you would call an endomorph, meaning I do really well with adding muscle, adding size, I don't need to actually eat a lot of calories to start adding weight, just slightly over what would be considered my maintenance calories. My body responds really, really fast to training, but it doesn't respond super fast to a calorie deficit. I actually have to get a little bit more aggressive if I wanna see faster results. In comparison to some of my great friends who have great genetics, just a small calorie deficit with a little more activity, all of a sudden their body starts to change rapidly. Now, don't get frustrated because yes, you can't change your genetics, but the big thing is you have clarity. So you don't need to stress like, when am I gonna get results or how fast is my body gonna respond? You can just know that, hey, no matter what, good, bad, not so great genetics, whatever the case may be, you can still get abs just by seeing the fact that there's a plethora of people out there with all different genetic backgrounds that have reached the goal that you have, which is getting abs. Now, one of the biggest things that I see with guys trying to get ripped abs is it's going to come down to your diet, right? Now, once again, this isn't groundbreaking news, but there's a couple little hacks that I wanna share with you, and this is something we talk about in our program. So anybody who comes in our program starts at what we call the top gun phase, all right? Top gun is when somebody's just building the base, right? They're building the foundation of their program, and they haven't actually mastered the basic habits, which we call the 3M system. Now, the 3M system is pretty simple. We help them customize it, and then once they really get momentum going, then they graduate into what we call the fight club phase. Now, fight club is where 
we're actually on a mission to see their abs for the first time or maybe for the first time in a while. And this is where we can really start to get creative with a diet that's gonna help them get there faster. So we utilize tools like fasting. Uh, we utilize tools like periods of lower carb dieting just to eliminate water retention, give them a little bit of a mental boost, if you will, because they start to see definition a little bit faster. Sometimes we do calorie cycling where they eat more on the weekends, less during the week. But this is where we can get creative with the dietary tools that are in place. For me, I know that my body tends to get lean way faster when I throw in a longer fast every week. So from Sunday night to Monday night, I don't eat food. So it's about a 24 hour period without food. Now, the biggest thing though, is that I'm controlling my calories throughout the week. I'm always in a deficit when I'm trying to lose fat, at least for long stretches of time. And then the second thing is, I have to master my protein intake. I'm getting more protein, protein becomes the star of the show. Get those two factors right, throw in a fast every week, and all of a sudden, your body's gonna start to change way faster than before. Mostly because the calorie deficit, and also because you're just being consistent, and you found something that's sustainable. And honestly, that's the name of the game. So many guys get frustrated, and they blow 25% of their week every week because they start to binge eat, they start to get stressed out, they start to compare themselves to others, they start to get depressed, and they lack motivation, so what do they do? They start eating too much, right? And so our diet is ultimately going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest factors when it comes to getting abs. Now, I promised you that I'd give you some actual tips on how to see your abs faster, and this is one that we teach our clients in our program. So by the way, if you're super serious about making a change, we have a few things you can do to get started. Number one, you can go to the description, and there's a free guide that you can download today that's gonna help you get to where you wanna be physically much faster than ever before. Forget about just losing weight. Let's turn you into an actual superhero, right? The body of your dreams. And all it comes down to is having a playbook that is built for you. And we'll teach you some of the first steps on how to do that if you go to the description. The second thing is you can actually take one of my challenges. I have a two-week Get Abs Challenge. It's gonna get you on the right path to start chiseling out your physique and actually going from a dad bod to a superhero. Now, it won't happen overnight, but let me help you build momentum. But if you're super serious and you're like, hey, I actually want to get hands-on coaching, accountability, I wanna to be told exactly what to do, no guesswork whatsoever. Well, that's where our True Transformation Mentorship Program is your best spot. You can learn all about it in the description below, but one of the key things that we teach all of our clients is to properly train their abs. Because most people don't realize abs will respond to resistance training, similar to trying to build big biceps or bigger shoulders or a wider back. The abs are going to improve definition when you actually train them. Most guys, though, they just go in the gym, they do a couple little crunches, maybe some leg raises, but they completely neglect ab training. So when you actually start to build up your abs, abs get thicker, all right? And when they get thicker, they start to show through your skin easier. So as you're leaning out, you know, if you're not training your abs, you might have to get to lower body fat percentages to actually see your abs. But if you're training them properly and they're starting to actually improve in terms of thickness, then that definition is going to show up faster. So... I know I can see my abs all the way up to like 15% body fat. Now, it used to not be the case. When I wasn't training my abs, I had to get down to like 10% body fat to actually see anything significant. But training your abs two to three times a week with resistance will ultimately improve the definition and how fast they show up. So I, now I know what you're thinking. That's all great. But how long is it actually going to take me, <laughs> you, the person watching this, to get abs? So here's just a general recommendation. This is what we tell our clients. Between the four and eight week mark, you're gonna to start to feel a noticeable difference. This is where clothes start to feel like they're fitting way differently. Your pants get loose, especially around the waist, and your shirts just noticeably feel different in comparison to before when things were tighter around the midsection, your pants were definitely tighter. You're just gonna to start to feel a difference. Around the 12 week mark, so about 90 days in, you're gonna to start to notice that definition has improved dramatically. Your first picture compared to your 12-week picture should be massively different. You should start to feel a sense of pride, a sense of excitement, because you're actually seeing the body change right in front of your face. Now, if you're super consistent over the period of four months, you can lose about 15% body fat. So a lot of the guys I work with are starting around 30 to 35% body fat. So around the four-month mark is when the physique really starts to take shape. And we're talking an athletic physique. It may not be super shredded, but you're looking more and more like someone who actually lifts. People are noticing, your coworkers are asking like, what are you doing? What diet are you following? Your friends are shocked because 
you look like a totally different person. Your face is chiseled out. Everything has really started to come together. Now, around the 26 week mark, so it's about six months into a very consistent program, is where a massive transformation has taken place. Now, this is assuming that you have about 30 to 40 pounds to lose to start to get abs. And this is a realistic timeline, and you can ask the hundreds of clients that have come through our program that I'm not blowing smoke here. This is true, right? I'm not promising an eight week ab program we're gonna get shredded in eight weeks. Now, you might get shredded in eight weeks if you're like 20% body fat and all you're trying to do is get down to 12 or 10% body fat. You could really push it and for eight weeks you could do an aggressive fat loss plan and ultimately probably get pretty ripped. But here's the catch and this is something I've seen time and time again with so many people who have come through our program. The people who achieve the best results and this is for any part of life, they're not afraid to invest in themselves. They lean in and they actually get expert help and coaching to number one, keep them accountable, but also help them get through the plateaus, the roadblocks, and all the other things that life is guaranteed to throw at you, especially when you're chasing a big goal. And that's why I've created my True Transformation Mentorship Program. In my program, we don't just give you a one-size-fits-all approach. We tailor your specific nutrition, your lifestyle protocols, and of course, your mindset strategy to fit your unique lifestyle. And, and the mission is simple. You know, We wanna say goodbye to the dad bod forever. We wanna step into the potential that you have. right? We wanna create the total package. Say goodbye to the dad bod, and let's actually build that superhero shredded physique that is capable of so much more. And remember, getting ripped abs isn't just about the ripped abs. It's who you become as a person. You're finally the person who did what they said they were gonna do. You've probably at least told yourself over the years that you're gonna lose weight but you never follow through. So you're lacking integrity when it comes to yourself. And it doesn't have to be that way. Like, trust me, I've been in your shoes. I know how hard it can be. Lack of time, sugar cravings, alcohol, all the stuff that goes into this thing we call life. It's like kryptonite. And we just need something to crush that kryptonite once and for all. And abs, once again, are not just about the abs. It's about the confidence. It's about who you are as a person. It's about you being the man you said you were gonna be. And ultimately, living at the highest potential so that you can help and influence so many other people. So if you're serious about transforming your body, I encourage you to take a look at the description of this video. There's so many options for you to get started. Take an opportunity today and go check them out. And hey, whether you join the program or not, I hope this video has given you some valuable insight into how long it can actually take to get ripped abs. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. What questions do you have about getting leaner, getting healthier, and ultimately creating that total package look that you're after? In the meantime, just remember, Life moves fast. Go make it count. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.